The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Miami Dolphins and the San Francisco 49ers. He kicks it off, and here we go from Levi's Stadium. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the 49ers are going to take possession of the football. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effect. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And the Dolphins are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Side complete. That's Hill. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. First carry for Raheem Mostert. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. Chalk that up as a four-yard loss, and now it's third down. They need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. He's got a man complete, and they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. Two and now on first down. And going deep for Hill. And that is caught at the 10 yard line. And he will step out of bounds down near the 10 yard line. It's a big play there for Miami. 47 yards. This defense is definitely reeling a little bit now. Back to back big plays given up. And you know that's all defenses talk about. How do you limit that? Instead, they got hit by a one two punch those last couple of plays. And now they've got their backs to the goal line. Nick Bosa using that speed to get in there and break that play up. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Tua sets up to pass it. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Anytime they think they've got him open beyond the markers, you know they're going to throw it his way. And that's not going to change even after that incompletion was forced. Tua now, third and goal. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the Niners are going to have it here at their own 15. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Purdy to throw it on first down. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 13 yards there and a Niner first. On 
But first down, Purdy. Another grab here for the dynamic Christian McCaffrey. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. My goodness, they've come out locked in on this drive. Play calling, execution, they are fully in sync. Three straight passes, three first downs. They're moving the ball downfield almost at will. This defense really struggling to find answers. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Here we go now on first and goal. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Here's Purdy. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Touchdown, 49ers! Debo Samuel from eight yards out. And the 49ers post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Gold with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. the touchdown it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away and a couple yards deep he'll go to a knee he won't return it and they'll take it out to the 25 now the Dolphins gonna burn the first of their timeouts they'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter two in the Dolphins now with a first and ten at their 25 yard line Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And his throw is incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. And that is incomplete. Another dangerous throw there, partner. I mean, he's already thrown two interceptions here in the first half. I don't know if you want to keep throwing up 50-50 balls when you've had that kind of lack of success. Yeah, absolutely. Very well. Could have been a third interception in half number one. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. He'll get this into the hands of Mostert. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Oh, they stopped him shy of the marker, thought they were bringing up fourth down, and then that penalty. Let's face it, they thought they had bent, but could absorb that, right? Instead, they broke as a result of their own penalty. Two and now on first down. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. Second down and three. Tua setting up shop to throw again. Flushed out right. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pad in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit... Now the Niners get there and bring him down. Samson Abuka coming in to drop it for a loss of eight, and it also brings up fourth. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. He is going to find Hill here. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill. 
54 yards. And the Dolphins' decision to go for it pays off with six points. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. For this offense, Charles, remember the last time they were out here, marched it nearly the full length of the football field, and a lot of the attack went through the air, so now they're seeing if they can duplicate that performance. Okay, if I show my age a little bit, because I can hear my high school coach, John Ford. I can hear his voice in my head. Maddie, when you put the ball in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. But the way the game's being played now, this is just part of what they do, so I don't think they should change anything at all. They've been dominant, keep throwing it around. Now on first down, it's Purdy. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Purdy on first and 10. That's caught. It's McCaffrey again. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. On third down, it's Purdy. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. Kyle Shanahan, an offensive mind, but his guys stopped up short. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. Ready, great. The Dolphins at the line, ready for their next drive. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead, but a mistake there, that could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. And now they come up and spike it to stop the clock. Coming up here, looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys 
can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. 52 is the mark, boy. 52. Let's go. Throwing on second and eight. Purdy. This one caught by Kittle. And he's got this all the way down to the five-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 63 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. It's second and goal back to the eight-yard line now. Purdy. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. This will wind up a loss on the play. And now we've got a third and goal situation. Purdy looking to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Brock Purdy, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers have retaken a third quarter lead. And now this is right in Kyle Shanahan's wheelhouse. He'll go for two here. They'll try and throw for it. This is caught. Was he in? Yes. Two points. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get it intercepted, it's returned by the defense. That's two points for them, but he identified an open target and put it right on him. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They fake the handoff. Now Tua steps away. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. Back to the air on second down. Tonga by Law. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Tashawn Gibson. And the 49ers are going to take possession of the football. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And the Dolphins are going to take over at their own two-yard line. And the tough thing is when he goes back and reviews the film, he'll see that he already escaped the pocket. He could have gotten more himself by using his legs, and that might have been the better choice there instead of challenging the zone. A miscalculation on his part, and he pays for it with the interception. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Tashawn Gibson. And...